okay so let's do home electric uh, company okay so first read out the question requirement what is the contribution per unit of limiting factor of product t in the first quarter of the year okay so let's first read out the scenario about the t home electronic company manufacture electrical appliance for domestic use it is made of a two division a small appliance division the two of the product manufactured by the small app uh, appliance divisions are the blender product b and the toaster product t the standard cost card per unit for each of the product is as follow so question basically asks about the product t and what the question is asking contribution per limiting factor right so let's calculate with the help of the spreadsheet right product t so selling price given uh, 120 direct material direct labor variable overhead fixed overhead <coughs> 15 35 oh oh we i forgot what's the limiting factor okay the in the first quarter of the year supply of the material was restricted to 2000 kg per month this was due to the global shortage it is now april it has been identified that material will be continued to be limited to 2000 kg per month but also labor hours will be restricted to 3200 hours per month the management accountant has supplied the formula for production constant as follows material and labor so basically in this question you can see there are two limiting factor described right but uh, for the first quarter as the question is asking for the first quarter first quarter of what first quarter of the year okay so question is basically asking for the first quarter of the year in so in the first quarter of the year the limiting factor is only the material in april the labor will also be the limiting factor but question is asking for the for the first quarter okay so first we will calculate contribution okay eighteen so contribution will be a subtracting all the variable cost from the selling price we got the fifty two and limiting factor is material so what how many matri uh, material is required to produce one unit so total cost of material is given 15 and the cost per kg is given 5 so dividing this to 15 divided by 5 okay we got the 3 <laughs> so now contribution per limiting factor would be okay 17.333 but uh, in question is asking to the nearest dollar so we will uh, write it down 17 okay using the simultaneous equation what is the total contribution to be earned from the product b and the t in the april okay so we do have given the production constant of the material uh, you can see right so let's note down question 2 okay so our first uh, constant is 2b plus 3t equal to 2000 <coughs> right 3b b plus 5t equal to 3200 okay okay so okay ha huh. what's the cont contribution we need for the both the product we, uh, for the t we had already been calculated so for the b we will calculate b means blender so 80 is the selling price 
ten is the cost for materials, labor is twenty one, and variable overhead is twelve. So our contribution we got thirty seven. So now we can uh, define the contribution function, which is c equal to uh, thirty seven for the blender and fifty two for the toaster. As we have already calculated the contribution, thirty seven was for the uh, blender and fifty two is for the toaster. So our total contribution will be. So whereas B is the number of unit of B and T is the number of unit of T. Okay. Okay. So now solving these two equation and I hope you know, uh, you guys know how to solve this equation. It's a basic uh, algebraic uh, maths. So first we will multiply the first equation with three. Okay. And the second equation with two. So I will write down here multiplying. By three, okay, <laughs> and here multiplying by two. So what we will get? Uh, three b plus nine t equal to two thousand. And for the second part, we will get. For I mean second equation. Okay, so six b. Oh, this will not be three. It will be six, na? Yeah. So six b plus ten t equal to six four double zero, and this will be uh two thousand into three means six thousand. Yeah. Okay. So now subtracting these two. Six B six B will get cancel out. So, or uh, ten T minus nine T equal to sixty four hundred minus six thousand. <laughs> so T equal to your four hundred. Now put this value in the any of the equation above. Uh, I will put in the first. Okay. So two B plus three into T. T is here four hundred. So it means twelve hundred equal to Two thousand. So, uh, two B equal to eight hundred by subtracting two thousand, twelve hundred from two thousand. Okay. So, what we got for the B? B equal to four hundred. So now we got the value of T and the value of B. So this is the number of unit that we should produce, and we do have an a uh, constant function, contribution function. I mean. Contribution function is here. So putting this value thirty seven into four hundred plus fifty two into four hundred. So we will. Uh, this is our maximum contribution which we can earn from this two product. And you can find out this it from the option. Okay. <laughs> so next question. Which of the following statement about the use of linear programming to solve the limiting uh, factor problem are true? The linear program programming uh, the linear programming methods helps to identify the optimum selling price for the product. So it helps us to find out optimum production, not the selling price. Slack occurs when more than maximum available of limited resources is required. Lim slack occurs <laughs> when more than Let me read out again. Slack occur occurs when more than one, so more than maximum available of limited resources is required. So slack occur when the less resources has been used than we have, not the maximum available of limited resources. So this is also incorrect. Okay. Uh, in the slack, there will be uh, some resources left uh, unutilized. Okay. So both are incorrect. Incorrect. What would be the shadow price of material in the large appliance division to the nearest whole uh, dollar thousand? No, no. To the nearest uh, whole dollar. Okay. The 
लार्ज डिवीजन पैराग्राफ इज एयर दिस डिवीजन ऑल्सो मैन्युफैक्चर टू प्रोडक्ट फ्रीजर प्रोडक्ट एफ विच अर्न ए कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वन फिफ्टी पर यूनिट डिश वाशर प्रोडक्ट डी विच अर्न ए कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ टू हंड्रेड पर यूनिट सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन डिफाइन आवर कंट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन और ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन वी कैन से सो विच इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी एफ प्लस टू हंड्रेड टी ओके सो एफ इज द नंबर ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ फ्रीजर एंड सिमिलरली फॉर द डी ओके बोथ द प्रोडक्ट यूज सेम रिसोर्सेज सेवरल ऑफ विच आर इन द शॉर्ट सप्लाई ओके In April, only 4,000 laborers hours, 2,500 kg of material, and 3,200 machines hours will be available. The manager accountant has applied linear programming and defined the following constraint. Okay, so we do have given the material, labor, machine hours, and demand for the constraint. Labor and machines have been identified as the binding constraint. and optimum production plans for the 240 units of n and 200 units of d has been calculated so the question has made us for, uh, so easy uh, i mean save our time they already calculated the optimum production plan so we don't need to calculate it again and one more thing they, they also told that the binding constraint is labor and machine it means our production optimum production plan will be lies between these two constraint okay so <coughs> labor equal to for labor 10f plus 8d equal to 4000 right <coughs> and the for machine 5f plus 10d equal to 3200 so uh, first of all let's calculate what's our current uh, uh, contribution is the total contribution as we know our optimum production plan okay and what is that uh, our f uh, um, okay f equal to 240 units and d equal to 200 units right <coughs> so putting these two in our contribution function or we can say objective uh, function because our objective is to maximize the contribution so our c will be 150 into 150 into 240 plus 200 into 240 <coughs> so our current uh, contribution is 484000 okay i just wait hmm so a a what we miss out is in the question what the question is asking shadow price of material but uh, shadow price is for what uh, for the binding constant na so but here in our case the binding constant is uh, where it is labor and machine time you are getting my point so shadow price will be calculated for the binding con constant if the one more unit of those binding constant is available how many unit we can produce right so and how how, how much contribution we will earn if one more unit of those binding binding constant is available but in uh, uh, if uh, it is not a binding constant then there is a slack okay so shadow price will be zero we don't need to calculate okay okay <laughs> so next which of the following statement about linear pro programming method in the large appliance is true large appliance division is true product d has a slack value and the contribution of 76000 will be earned, earned from the optimum production plan this is all, okay and labor and machines time intersect at the optimum point shown in the graph okay 
so let's analyze product d had a slack value the question is asking so product d uh, uh, demand for d is to uh, 250 but how many units we are producing in the our optimum production plan only 200 it means 50 is the slack right so one is true okay okay second the contribution of 76000 will be earned from the optimum production plan okay so we have already calculated our optimum production plan so it's 76000 so this is also true and labor and machine time intersect at a optimum production uh, optimum point if the graph if shown on the graph exactly because these two are binding constant uh, and the, uh, at this the intersection of these two binding constant will be our uh, optimum production plan okay so this is uh, last statement is also correct it means all three are correct okay